For this project, artist Taryn Simon assumes the dual role of shrewd informant and collector of curiosities, compiling an inventory of what lies hidden and out of view within the borders of the United States. She examines a culture through careful documentation of diverse subjects from the realms of science, government, medicine, entertainment, nature, security, and religion, transforming the unknown into a seductive and intelligible form Simon confronts the divide between those with and without the privilege of access. Submerged in a pool of water at Hanford site are 1,936 stainless steel nuclear waste capsules containing cesium and strontium. A human standing one foot from an unshielded capsule would receive a lethal dose of radiation in less than 10 seconds. Hanford is among the most contaminated sites in the United States. This cryopreservation unit holds the bodies of Rhea and Elaine Ettinger, the mother and first wife of cryonics pioneer Robert Ettinger. The Cryonics Institute offers cryostasis services for individuals and pets upon death. Cryostasis is practiced with the hope that lives will ultimately be extended through future developments in science, technology, and medicine. The patient in this photograph is 21 years old. She is of Palestinian descent and living in the United States. In order to adhere to cultural and familial expectations regarding her virginity and marriage, she underwent hymenoplasty. The purpose of hymenoplasty is to reconstruct a ruptured hymen, the membrane which partially covers the opening of the vagina. Jury consultation advisors monitor and analyze mock trial proceedings and jury deliberations in order to assist their clients in developing effective trial strategies. Mock juries are an integral part of litigation consulting, a little-known professional field with annual profits of approximately $3 billion. The estimated cost of a single jury simulation is $60,000. All items in the photograph were seized from the baggage of passengers arriving in the U.S. at JFK Terminal 4 from abroad over a 48-hour period. All seized items are identified, dissected, and then either ground up or incinerated. Since its founding in 1947, the CIA has participated in both covert and public cultural diplomacy efforts throughout the world. It is speculated that some of the CIA's involvement in the arts was designed to counter Soviet communism by helping to popularize what it considered pro-American thought and aesthetic sensibilities. Such involvement has raised historical questions about certain art forms or styles that may have elicited the interest of the agency, including abstract expressionism. The decomposing corpse of a young boy is studied by researchers who have recreated a crime scene. The Forensic Anthropology Research Facility, popularly known as the Body Farm, is the world's chief research center for the study of corpse decomposition. Its six-acre plot hosts approximately 75 cadavers in various stages of decomposition. The National Center for Natural Products Research is the only facility in the United States which is federally licensed to cultivate cannabis for scientific research. In addition to cultivating cannabis, NCNPR is responsible for analyzing seized marijuana for potency trends, herbicide residuals, and fingerprint identification. These submarine telecommunications cables extend 8,037.4 miles across the Atlantic Ocean capable of transmitting over 60 million simultaneous voice conversations. These underwater fiber optic cables stretch from Saunton Sands in the United Kingdom to the coast of New Jersey. The National Library Service for the Blind and Physically Handicapped, a division of the U.S. Library of Congress, provides a free national library program of braille and recorded materials for blind and physically handicapped persons. Magazines included in the NLS's programs are selected on the basis of demonstrated reader interest. This includes the publishing and distribution of a Braille edition of Playboy. In the United States, all living white tigers are the result of selective inbreeding to artificially create the genetic conditions that lead to white fur, ice blue eyes, and a pink nose. As a result of inbreeding, Kenny is mentally retarded and has significant physical limitations. This MK-84 IM warhead was tested in order to collect pressure and fragment velocity data on a new experimental explosive warhead fill. 
The Air Armament Center is responsible for the development, testing, and deployment of all U.S. air-delivered weapons. This film was taken using a remote sequencer that detonated the warhead from a control bunker. The red dot is a marking on the government issue film. Offering visions of the unseen, an American index captures the strange magic at the foundation of a national identity.